summer disappears quicker than a Matthew Perry film, but not this summer. With Cher missing from my world, summer break seems endless, like Monopoly with Grandma. Has it really been just a few short months since Cher's dad fired the shot heard round Rodeo Drive? We're undergoing a bit of a financial crisis. Well, how could we be? You're a totally prominent attorney. Yes, but my totally prominent business manager has disappeared with all our money. So we have to sell the house? Cher, what else can I do? We're broke. Then hello, Lollapa Lifeboat. My parents offer share a room at my house so we can share the senior year dream we've been salivating about since preschool. My mom just called me with the news. This is awesome. A slumber party our entire senior year? Yay! <laughs> Wait a minute. Why am I squealing solo? This is supposed to be a duet. You know how much I'd love to spend senior year at Maison Dion, but how can I leave my dad? And now, the worst has happened. The dining room is a coffin. But if we blow out this wall into the foyer and then get rid of that tacky staircase, we... Oops. Motivated seller alert. Call you back, Sheila. The fabulous Horowitz mansion is now occupied by the evil ones. And horror of horrors. Cher is trapped in rural Bakersfield slash dog patch, only two hours away by car, but 17 million years in dental evolution. Where forced by economics, she must use the five saddest words a Beverly Hills princess can ever utter. Can I take your order? She is literally the Polaroid of perfection. She has everything and she'll give it to you in a second. Looks can't deceive. She wears her heart on her sleeve. She'll steal you away. Not just for one day. As nouveau paupers on the rural side of Bakersfield, life for Daddy and me has changed faster than Kate Moscow's through a buffet line. Daddy, formerly a totally prominent attorney, is now a backwoods barrister, taking on any case he can find. Smell like a dead fish in the creek. The water tastes bad. I want to go after whoever's responsible and sue their butts off. Now, are you my damn lawyer or not? You have the word of Mel Horowitz. We will get to the bottom of this. Horowitz. Horowitz. That's, uh, Jewish, isn't it? Yes. Yes, it is. Good. It's a major step down for my Atticus Finchworthy daddy, but he's totally handling it, and I'm mega proud of him. Hello, Pumpkin. How was work? <sighs> Lots of truckers, tons of tips, and it was payday. Mr. Cookie Jar is going to be very happy. Well, honey, keep some of that money for yourself. You earned it. Daddy, if we're ever going to be able to afford cable, we need to save every penny. Have I told you today how guilty I feel for having to sell everything we had and move here? Ooh, more good news from work. We have plenty of leftovers, chicken gumbo on toast. Check in the bag. Well, like everything else in this town, I'm guessing it's not kosher. Well, I thought I saw a rabbi, but... Turned out to be one of the guys from ZZ Top. <laughs> uh, Dion called, uh, said to say hi. She may call back later. Cool. Or I could call her back this weekend when the long distance rates drop. You are truly amazing. Your mother would be so proud. She is, Daddy. She tells me all the time. Share as God is my witness. I will get you your old life back. Daddy. If it's our karma, it'll happen. Okay, Mr. H-O-R-S. Watch and learn. Little buddy, you go. 
Oh, that's a quality effort. You know, that gives you an E, which rhymes with free, which is what my burger's gonna be. Let's go. Hey, uh, why don't you go, man? Uh, I'll buy, but I I'm not in the mood. I'm gonna stay here. You're thinking about her again. How can we just pretend things are fine with Cher gone? Dude, we gotta accept and move on. You know, if I didn't know any better, I swear you were sweet on the girl. Cher's my friend, Murray. You know what? One of your multiple problems is you can't have a girl as a friend without it being about going downtown. Hey, I'm an urban kind of guy. Speak. Hi, Amber here. I didn't get your RSVP card for my annual end of summer pool party. Oh, hang on. Oh, more caviar, less gumbo. Amber, you got a lot of stones to hold Cher's annual pool party in Cher's pool. Uh, it's not Cher's pool anymore, according to the bankruptcy auction laws of the U.S. Internal Revenue Service. Sean, free tip. Get over it. <clears throat> Blanderama. I specified extra spicy. What are you people, British? Amber, read my lips. No thanks. Oh, so you'll miss playing strip volleyball with the Hawaiian Tropic swimsuit models. I was counting on you guys as lotion squirters. Look, we don't give a rat's behind what... What was that? Ah, uh, the sound of my lips telling his lips to shut up. Mm -hmm. We'll see you, Noonish. I'm not going. Sean, I'm not going. Sean, Sean, I'm... Sean. Think. Lotion squirters. <laughs> yeah, yeah, baby! baby. <laughs> Lotion squirters. <laughs> uh, hello, food people? Lost me. Way over the top. Way over the top. I have found this piece of paper on the list. What piece of paper are you talking about? A list. You should not be going through my paper. Trap, have you seen this? A caviar for 200, a swing band, a sushi bar, a pan and teller? <laughs> Too much? Of course it's too much. We're spending more for a high school pool party than we did for our own wedding reception. Yeah, we all know what a waste of money that was. I heard that, you spineless little stain. I mean, my God, isn't it enough you bought this hideous place lock, stock, and barrel because Amber wanted you to? In fairness, it was a steal. The auction price included the furniture. You're a psychiatrist, for God's sake. Can't you ever tell that child no? A anything wrong, Daddy? No. <laughs> How was that? Oh, I'm going upstairs to soak. Amber, honey, your father has some bad news about tomorrow. Don't you, Trap? Uh, bad news about my... my party? Uh, Princess, you know how much Mummy and I support the goal of this party. Oh, but... and I so appreciate this one last chance to be accepted by the cool kids uh -huh. instead of mocked driving me to drugs and alcohol like so many confused young people with cheap, evil parents. Right, right. Uh, well, still, we, uh, 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 the cool kids actually mock. I think it's the mocking that hurts most of all. But damn it, I am not going to look for the answer in the bottom of a bottle. I am not. I'm not. Oh, that's my girl. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay, about, uh, uh, Penn and Teller. My magicians? Oh, no, uh, what? It, no, no, I, I'm putting my foot down. We're, uh, we're not, uh, feeding the big one. You're tough. But fair. <laughs> good night, Cream Puff Daddy. Uh, good night, Snowflake. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? I think we're on to something. The old guy was right. The lab report does show toxic chemicals in his creek. Oh, well, you look beat. We should get a fresh start in the morning. I'm sure it'll all work out. Right, right. Speaking of which, how's it working out with that grandson of his? What is it, uh, Dylan? No, it's Dean. And please, Daddy, I barely know him. But what I do know, I like a lot. 
from the first time I laid eyes on him. That instant, I totally got the whole stand by your man deal. Although I refused. thinking about something that happened at the French kiss machine at work. I mean, French fry machine. Please, Daddy, it's late. Go. Go, I'll get the lights. Right. Night, pumpkin. Night, Daddy. Too late? Of course it is. For what? You told me to come and get you when it was time. Well, it's time. Oh my god, you're kidding. Can I go? What do you think? When was the cult born? Just a couple of days ago. As quiet as you can. It's okay, Brandy. It's okay. It's just me and Cher. Hi, girl. Mazel tov. Oh, it means congratulations. We're Jewish. Yeah, I think my grandpa mentioned it. Oh, this is the most beautiful sight I have ever seen. That's funny. I have exactly the same thought. You have reached the offices of Mel Horowitz, attorney at law. We're not able to take... Cher, sure, sure, sure. you've forgotten a professional corporation. Oh, it's too pretentious. You don't need that. Cher, sure. please record it again. No problem. You didn't throw the instructions away, did you, Daddy? Daddy? Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> awesome greeting, Cher. Don't change it. It's me, your best, missing you. Oh, I'm sorry I haven't come to visit. I just don't think I can handle Boogersfield yet. And as bad as it is for me, I know it has to be worse for you. Living in squalor, surrounded by scary hillbillies. Oh, I can't even imagine how horrible it must be. But be strong. Hang in there. I love you. I miss you. Call me. And share. Take heart. I just know your nightmare on Goober Street will be over before you know it. Bye. The transition to my downsized life was hard, but hooking up with bodacious boyish like Dean is definitely easing the pain. Does that make me shallow? Ugh, do I care? When the uh, cult gets his legs, you can help me halt or break him if you'd like. Mike, try love. Whew, uh, love's something I don't know too much about, but uh, I'm willing to learn. Hello? Girl in tongue waiting. Okay, um, lesson number one. A head fake has no function in a kiss. Shh. You hear something? It's a big rig doing going up in the hills in the middle of the night. Maybe he's up to something he can't do in the daylight.
says money can't buy love. That's how you keep hers. So, hi, Ginger. Uh, run out of Chardonnay up in your bedroom? Yeah, baby! Let the pool party commence, baby. <laughs> yeah. Woo. I changed my mind. Take me home. What? I thought I could go through with it if I came with you guys, but I feel like I'm cheating on Cher. D, I hear you, but we got to move on to life without her. That's right. <laughs> oh, please. Sean, you're here to be a lotion squirter. Wow. How does she do that? I don't know, man. It's like she's a witch or something. Look. I came for a party, and I'm going in. It's time we started dealing with this. Yeah. What he said. Party over here! Really good. For me? Hello? Cher, hi. I'm sorry to bug you at work. Oh, Dee, it's no bug. It's great to hear from you. Terrific. Listen. Oh. It totally reeks being so far away from you, but my nightmare on Goober Street, suddenly, not so much. Ooh, my ESP tells me it's a B-O-Y. Grilled pastrami, burnt sourdough pigs in a blanket. Oh, Racked them. That's me. I only have a sack. I'll summarize. Amber's having this really big party at your old house, which I'm out in front of right now, but I can't bring myself to go inside because it would almost be like I'm, I'm. Like cheating on me? Yes! Oh, we are still so cosmically connected. Dee, I am totally honored that you respect our friendship that way, but I want you to walk in there and party. But then, how can I pretend that this bogus field deal is just temporary? Dee, direct order from your best. Go now. Love you. Bye. Bye. That's the saddest thing I ever had to say to Dee. It's like the door to friendship and good taste is slamming shut. And it fully sucks. So, your theory is the truck's dump with the chemicals? If a guy wanted to get rid of some toxic waste, he might be tempted to haul it up into the hills in the middle of the night. That's not bad, Mel. Up after. Yawn. I never dreamed you'd actually show up. Yeah, well, whatever. <laughs> oh, Dee, do you know Sharon? She's transferring from Bridgman. Dion? I think I've heard of you. <laughs> Weren't you Cher's friend? M. Cher's friend. Best friend. All right. You were with that group that used to be cool. Used to be? How did you put it, Amber? Now that Cher's in Hooterville, we are what's up at Bronson Alcott. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. Suddenly, something molten is boiling up inside me. I'm way too young for a hot flash, and I haven't touched the guacamole. So it must be moral outrage. Everybody, listen up. Don't you see what Amber's doing here? First she buys Cher's house, her pool, and now she's trying to buy you. Can you be had so cheaply? Now, if you're the kind of people I know most of you are, you will walk out of here with me right now. Attention, everyone. The complimentary sushi bar will be opening in 30 seconds. <laughs> That was a really great speech, Dee. Let's get out of here. in Caddyshack. Mmm. <laughs> the chlorine gives it some bite. 
<laughs> Nicely done. Hopelessly derivative, but for you, it bordered on original. Yeah, I remember the first time I used faux duty to get my way. Well, I hope you learned your lesson. Oh, pitch it as an after-school special. What I learned is nothing will stop my march to the front of the parade. Especially not a bunch of used-to-bees. We're going and march then. March on. I can't take it anymore. I need a share fix. Murray, Sean, let's go. Go? Go where? Bakersfield. Bakersfield? Bakersfield. Hmm. Next time on Clueless. This is so not happening. Dion, you realize it's possible to get out and push while you steer, right? Ah, Dion, what are you doing here? Oh, you can't even believe how bumming I am over the concept of senior year without you. Don't even go there. The problem is, this is my life now, Dee. I mean, I actually like my job, minimum wage and all. Can you understand that? Breaker, breaker, good buddy. Why the sudden interest in monster trucks? Come down from there, now. Yeah! Says who? Says me. Oh, my little friend. I said move it! <laughs> <laughs>